Hello Taurus, Elsie here to do a, a bonus read for you. My bull gang, how are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I do appreciate you. If you are someone who's brand brand new and you're just coming here for the first time, welcome. I hope you'll let me know that you are um, in the comments. I hope you'll let me know that you're there so I can greet you. Thanks so much for doing that. And uh, Taurus, whether you are the ride or die or you are brand new, you are always welcome here. And you know that if you are the ride or die, you're the one that's always in the comments, giving the thumbs up, loving on this channel and helping it grow. Thank you so much for doing that. I do appreciate you. And that's why I come back with these bonus reads because you eat my readings up so quickly. So we're going to start this time with um, uh, with the Lenormand and then we're going to move to some um, Kipper. Find out what's going on for you, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I am your bully sister. I am a Taurus Sun. Thank you so much for clicking here, my bull gang. Here we go. Let's take a look here. Oh, Taurus, there is news. There is news coming here, my friend. You are getting some sort of news from an old friend. That's what it looks like here, that there is a letter coming. This letter, I feel, is going to reveal some secrets, Taurus, that you're not expecting to hear or see. Um, this letter here, it does say, um, yeah, I feel like it comes to you through the mail, I want to say. It does feel like that. Sorry, I'm just reading what's on here. It says mountain, crossroads, mice. It says ship, house, tree, clouds. Um, we've got um, card number 27 here. And so I want to say that somebody has been silent with you, right? Card number 27 is a nine, which is the hermit. And the hermit energy is about being silent, being with yourself, trying to find answers, trying to get the wisdom, making sure you're going over details, things that you may have missed. It feels like there is somebody here who with the seven of you can see the seven of swords in the bottom right hand corner here. Somebody is about to send you something that reveals something to you. And it does feel like it's coming in either email, letter or text form. It's written. So it could be handwritten for some of you. But it feels like this being, you know, this person who is loyal. Now, this letter could say thanks for being so loyal, but it, it could be a loyal friend. Um, Oh, look, we've got two nines here. Look, Taurus, something's going down. We've got two nines here with the end of cycles. We've got card number 18 and card number 27. Those are both of nines. We are uh, about to end a cycle here. And I feel like, I feel like it's coming super quick. And it's, it's everything. It's card number six. What's going on here, Taurus? <laughs> Card number six is the lovers. Card number 18 is also a nine. We are at the end of cycles here. I feel like somebody is going to come rushing in. With the king of wands here, it feels like somebody's intention is to step forward and they've been inspired to do so. But I feel like they are in a tumultuous energy, Taurus. Somebody here is in a tumultuous energy, but they're they're willing to come forward. I want to say with this person, when things are great, they are amazing. And when things are bad, it's really hard. And I, I don't think it's with you. Like, I don't, I think this is, this is what's going on within the King of Wands. And so um, we're looking at the King of, you see the King of Clubs down at the bottom, which is the Wands. And so uh, we, we do look at this one here, which is the Ten of Hearts, which is the Ten of Cups. So it does feel like it is a friend a very loving friend, someone who um, who makes you very happy, who you haven't heard from in a while. For some of you, this person could be a lover. I'm not going to say that, that that energy is not here because we do have the six, which is, is the lovers. You could be dealing with... Um, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo here, or possibly some air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. It's kind of a big start, right? <laughs> kind of just busting in from behind the curtain here. Tell me about what's going on with the Kipper. We'll take a couple of these. We do have the privileged lady. Look, we have... Um, we have feminines all over the place here, it looks like, or maybe just women, whether they have feminine or masculine energy, we don't know. Again, we've got a number six. So we've got a number six, and not only do we have that, we have the expectation of a new beginning. We have card number 28, which is a 10, which rolls back to a one, which is the beginning of something. So someone here has been expecting someone, or you've been feeling it, Taurus, that something is coming near. Now, for some of you, this is a platonic friend, someone that maybe you had some hardship with in the past, or you haven't spoken 
spoken with. And maybe it's not hardship. Maybe you've just living across the world from them. But it does feel like you are going to hear from someone. Now, um, this we do have mature woman and we do have privileged lady. Now, to me, the mature woman is someone, of course, who has gained years, right? And, you know, you can become the empress later in life, but we do have the empress energy here. To me, this is always the empress energy in in the kipper we've got card number 12 right which is intuitive energy it is piscean energy but it's also um the privileged lady is somebody who is one and two is three is the empress so very interesting so for uh some of you it feels like there is a, a lover coming forward look we have six and six which is 12. i'm just saying the numbers are kind of off the chain a little bit here um, we've got a lot of synchronicities so if you've been seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities taurus i feel like it's you that's coming to some sort of new beginning of great fortune and it doesn't have to be money great fortune can be love health it can be relationship it can be home um it can be a lot of things right Right. Look, it's somebody who's been looking for you for a while. Somebody who's been in the labyrinth. Now, maybe they've been looking for you and they can't find you. Maybe you've blocked them everywhere on social media, but I feel like the universe is helping them. 43 is a seven. For me, sevens are all about heaven. It feels like somebody has been trying to find their way through the labyrinth. And so maybe they can't find you, but maybe they just couldn't find their way. Maybe that was the delay. All right. All right. Expectation. You have been expecting this person. I really do feel that you have. Like this is a little deck that I bought like eons ago and I just found it cleaning out my tarot room here. Uh, it's only got like, I think a dozen cards maybe. And I don't remember what it's called. I'm so sorry. But uh, we're going to pull one of these because I feel inspired to do so. Tell me about this. Tell me about Taurus, please. We do have slowing down, pacing yourself. Very interesting energy here. So it feels like um, it feels like right now, Taurus, might be a time that is slow. Maybe you don't have much to do. Maybe you're not going out and seeing many people. You're not really getting invitations. And when you extend the invitations, people are busy. I feel like that is on purpose. So stop getting angry or pissed off about it. I feel like that you are uh, pacing yourself. The universe is pacing you for something that's about to show up for you that is really big that you're going to have to put all your energy in. It's a self-confidence leader and power. So this person could be a leader. Um, they could be very confident that they're going to be able to talk to you after looking for you for a long while. Let's look at some tarot. All right. Well, this is very interesting. Tell me about Taurus, please. And that's why I like to combine the energies with so many different decks, y'all. Some some stuff maybe just may not come up in the tarot, but um, uh, and if it does, maybe it's it's passed over. Do you know what I mean? These are kind of really bold and in-your-face energies. Tell me about Taurus, please. Tell me what's coming up for Taurus. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles could be on the way. This is a Capricorn, but also Taurus and Virgo in this general reading, right? This is a general reading. So we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. Tell me more. We have the Nine of Wands. So I do feel that this Capricorn person, or maybe this is you, take it as it resonates. Somebody here feels like the Wounded Warrior. Somebody here is exhausted. They're tired of taking on other people's stuff. Um, it could be you. Maybe you're the one who's been taking on other people's stuff. So maybe for some of you, this isn't really an exciting thing. Like this person seems like they're in a tumultuous energy. When it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's terrible. I feel like this is a friend who is either going to write you a letter or send you a text or send you some sort of communication here. Um, I feel like it's because you have wisdom. I'm going to say that you're, if you're the mature woman, whether you're feminine or masculine, you could be a mature man. But this is number six here. So this person may feel like you match them or they may feel that maybe you are the lover. We could be talking about someone who is romantically interested in you, whether they are feminine or masculine. Uh, but I do feel like somebody... Somebody might be younger than you, or you could be older than them. If you're the mature woman, somebody here is younger than you, but they do see you as the empress. They see you as abundant, somebody who's taking care of business, very solid and sturdy and grounded, right? That's the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is the one who is who is uh, emulating the empress. And when we when we manifest it, we act as though we have it. And so the, the queen of pentacles is acting as though they have it and is about to become the empress here. 
Could be talking about two empresses, I'm just saying. Or there's one who is an empress that has the wisdom and one who wants to be the empress. Somebody who maybe wants to be like you. Tell me more. We do have the hermit. It's been quiet with you and somebody walked away. There may be some sort of energy that tells me, yeah, it's heartbreak or heartache that has caused somebody here to walk away from this, from this situation here. It's been quiet. It feels like somebody has been thinking about you or thinking about the situation. Thinking about the Queen of Pentacles, whether that's you or someone else. I feel like that, that maybe you walked away from the situation because it was heartbreaking. It does feel like there, there is something coming here that, that you need to talk about with someone. It could be a soulmate. Look, we have the Queen of Pentacles and now we have the King of Pentacles. This could be a soulmate friend. This could be a soulmate lover. Take it as it resonates for you. Let's clarify just a little bit, Taurus. First of all, I want to know what's slowing down here. Tell me about pacing yourself. Because it feels like you've, um, yeah, you've grown and changed a lot. Through the good times and the bad, you've grown and you've changed a lot. Tell me about what's slowing down. Why are you pacing yourself here? It might be because of planetary movements. It could be. I am just looking here. We do see this little, this little guy, turtle guy here and he has uh, planets all around him here. Um, it feels like it's going to be something that is very nourishing or full of growth. I think I have to sneeze, so be aware for those of you that are in headphones. <laughs> um, okay, um, we've got the world card. Or sorry, not the world card. We've got the fool card here. So I think you're being slowed down. It's feeling like right now is supposed to be a time of rest for you, Taurus. You're supposed to pace yourself because I feel like something is about to show up that you're going to have to put a lot of your energy into here. We do, and I did say the world, and there it was, right? <laughs> the world card shows up. And so it does feel like that there has been an ending here or that we are coming to some sort of milestone in this relationship. Um, maybe possibly an achievement or trying to begin again. Hang on. Throwing cards all over. Well, can't find it. I guess we don't need it. <laughs> it is what it is, y'all. I'm just going to go with the flow. Here we go. One more. We've got the moon. What? What is all this major arcana, Taurus? There is some big change coming here. There is something very big coming here. The moon is here. The universe is hiding it from you. So you can't see it because you may run from it. There's a lot of silence and hidden things. Things are under the surface, not as they seem. There is something going down here, Taurus, and you don't know it. You don't know what's going down. You may feel it because I do feel with the sun, you know, the sun coming out and then this hard time. It feels like you and somebody here have had a tumultuous time, but it feels like maybe the moon is hiding the moon is hiding this new beginning that's what it feels like here i just want to take a look at this um this letter here because there is something a document a contract or a letter or communication of some sort that is coming to you from an old friend or someone who's been very loyal to you um, even though maybe it's been silent someone who's been very loyal to you tell me what card 27 is what is this letter about please Tell me about Taurus. What's the letter about? It's going to cause a tower. You, some sort of something is coming to the surface. The bottom right-hand corner of that letter card is the Seven of Swords. It's something that's being revealed that you didn't see before. Something, Someone is revealing something to you here. Um, the tower is going to shake you down. Look, there's so much Major Arcana. There is a lot of change coming to us. Look, I'm not trying to scare you. I think it's all good. It feels good for me. It feels like it's like you've always wanted to know this. You had it in your intuition. You you kind of thought in your intuition that this is what was going on, but you weren't exactly exactly sure because you couldn't see it. You were too close to it. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody who's feeling unstable, no stability, possibly someone who's had a, a financial impact or somebody who um, wasn't very dependable. Maybe they weren't a dependable friend. That could be why you walked away. And then we have the Emperor. Look, oof, just saying, wow, wow. So we have the Empress here, um, and we have the Emperor here. This person could be your boss. This could be someone you worked with and was a supervisor or a boss for you. This is somebody who's coming to you for 
um, I feel like they're, they're writing to you because they have something that's out of balance, I want to say, that they don't feel... They don't feel like they are connected to the ground. They feel like uh, maybe this person is trying to get a hold of their finances. Maybe you're someone who deals in finances. You are Taurus after all. You are looking like the Queen of Pentacles who is very sturdy, stable, grounded, solid. And so maybe this person is coming to you for advice, uh, financial advice. Or maybe this person is coming at you, the Emperor, but the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. So it tells me that maybe you've gotten no stability from this person in the past. We've got the Emperor. When the Emperor is here, so are all the kings. When the empress is here, so are all the queens. Take it as it resonates. All right. So we do have something that came to an end here. And um, I feel like you are being slowed down, so you will go over some of the details. Uh, I feel like you're supposed to be... I think you already know what I'm talking about. Honestly, I, I don't think I really have to do much more explaining. I think you already know who I'm talking about here. And um, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Tell me why the Queen of Pentacles is here for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Taurus. We do have the Eight of Wands. Taurus, you are getting some communication. Yep. Something is about to speed up or move quicker, and you are going to be getting some communication from somebody here. I think it's an emperor, somebody who sees your worth and is coming forward. Now look, for those of you who have been manifesting the emperor, I feel like the emperor is arriving. However, that works out for you, whether you know this person or not. It feels like they are an old friend, I want to say. We've got the seven of cups here. It leaves you with emotional confusion and overwhelm. It feels like you are, what? What? Like after all this time, what? That's what it feels like here. It could be seven months. Um, maybe 10 months. If seasons, for some of you, it could be years. We're looking at pentacles here. We do have the nine of pentacles. So someone is feeling confident, finally has the confidence to communicate with you. Look, you're a little bit intimidating, Taurus. If, I, if I'm connecting with you, you're the one who is financially stable. You might be carrying a business. You might be someone who is very stable in your life right now. Somebody here is very confident that they're able to contact you, but it is going to be very overwhelming because I feel like you let go of this burden a long time ago. I want to say it does feel like you decided to walk away uh, at the Nine of Wands here, maybe you are in a new relationship because what ends the Nine of Wands is the Ace of Wands, right? Should look here, right? No. Nope. Okay, just say, just go to see if it's under the deck. Um, but the Nine of Wands, what ends you, what gets you out of the Nine of Wands, what, what ends this anguish and exhaustion and a feeling like I can't get over the next the next uh, hill, uh, I want to say is the Ace of Wands. So it does feel like maybe you started, you began something new and that's why you walked away from this person. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. We do have the Six of Swords. So this, I feel like you were stuck in this energy for a long time. Somebody here had you stuck. You couldn't move forward. You couldn't move away from them. We do have the Ten of Wands until you finally drop these burdens. So the Ace of Wands did come along, Taurus. I feel like for some of you, you could be looking forward to an exciting future. Maybe you're being very creative. You're on a new path of passion. And uh, this person shows up. When all of that is going on, there's the, the King of Cups. So we could be talking about someone who is Scorpio. Scorpio is someone who is kind of stoic on the surface. They're good with the poker face. This could also be Cancer or Pisces, by the way, because we are in a general reading. I didn't tell you this, right? Pisces, Cancer is over here as well. Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Aries. Aries is here twice. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So I want to say that... Somebody is coming in to drop their burdens with you. I feel like this person left you stuck. And I feel like you were the one that walked away. But I feel like somebody is now walking toward you because this Eight of Cups is walking into the center of the reed. Now I just feel like I want to put down a card into the center of the reed now and find out what's going on here. Why is this person walking back to Taurus? What? <laughs> Oh, God, I cracked myself up sitting here in the dining room. <laughs> All right, so we have the lovers, right? So this is somebody who you are connected to as a soulmate. Could be a soulmate friend, right? We've got friendship here, a friend who is very loyal. So it could be a soulmate friend who's walking it back after you've had some sort of a hardship with them. It's definitely been quiet uh, because of some sort of, of disappointment or sadness here. Tell me about the hermit, please, for Taurus. Tell me about the hermit for Taurus. The Hermit is Virgo, by the way. All right. Well, it's there it is. It is the Page of 
swords. It's the person who's been watching you, Taurus. Somebody here no longer wants to watch you. It feels like somebody's been watching you in silence. Well, well, it's been silent. I feel like this person's been watching you on the interwebs, in the in the in the neighborhood. Maybe you work at the local coffee place, grocery store. Maybe you're a neighbor. I don't know. But the Queen of Wands is here. So this person has been watching you grow and glow. You've been glowing up. They're watching you be independent. They're watching you go after all of your passions, all of your dreams and passions, the things that you've been thinking about, the wisdom that you've gained. Like you're the whole thing. Taurus, you're all of it. You're the, the whole damn empress, right? Somebody who's going after whatever it is that they want. You're going out. You're being social. You're with friends. I feel like you are, like, things are happy. Um, the Three of Cups can also indicate reunion. So it, it could be that this person's walking back in with this lover's energy here, whether they're a soulmate friend or a lover. And it feels like somebody here wants to have some sort of a um, reunion with you. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why are they coming back to Taurus, please? Why are they coming back to Taurus? We do have the Page of Wands in the reverse because there's been no communication. We've not spoken with each other. Nobody's putting effort into this, this uh, connection, whether it's platonic or romantic. Uh, it feels like we need to plan better. Um, somebody doesn't want to surprise you, but I feel like they're going to have to because I feel like you've blocked them everywhere. Then we do have the Page of Pentacles. So somebody is somebody is coming toward you here, Taurus, and going to ask you, look, can we just go out for a drink? Can we go out for coffee? It's something really small. I feel like that something is already um, in, in the 3D here because we're in the future energy. Something in the 3D is already growing here. It's been growing behind the scenes for a long while. And then the next card that popped out is the Hangman in reverse. Somebody's had a revelation. It's uh, They've realized something. After hanging there for a while, trying to get their balance, they now have their balance and now they're coming out with whatever they've learned. So the Hanged Man is somebody saw it from your perspective. They saw it from the situation. Um, of whatever happened, they saw it from the from the other side. They see it from your side now, and somebody wants to talk about it or meet face to face in the three D. Tell me why the three of swords is here. What caused the disappointment and the heartbreak? We do have the magician. We have the four of cups, and we have the hermit. So it does feel like um, it feels like you had too much magic. I'm just going to say, and there's never going to be too much magic. I'm not saying that you're too magic, but I'm just going to say that you started to learn that you had worth, that you had the ability to be able to manifest whatever you wanted, and that people couldn't come along with you on this timeline. So I feel like um, I feel like the heartbreak was you couldn't take people with you to your next timeline, and you had to go. I think that's what it was. So if you walked away, and now you're walking back, or they're walking away and walking back, take it as it resonates but I feel like it's because of the magician energy you finally found the energy to walk away from these shenanigans you're just like I'm not putting up with this anymore you keep breaking my heart you keep disappointing me over and over emotionally pulling away from you is probably the best thing I ever did and you stop putting any energy into this relationship things become a little bit boring here though we have redundant energy in the four of cups but please understand that the four of cups is a place that sometimes you need to be where you're just by yourself with your feelings and you need to figure them out right it feels like it, it led you to being in the hermit energy here so it does feel like there is somebody here who either has great love for you romantically or someone who is a soulmate friend. Tell me about the lovers, please. Whatever it is, this person is a soulmate because we do have the king and the queen of pentacles here. You guys are uh, could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy altogether. We do have the Ace of Wands. I did say we just needed one more wand to bring the 10, right? So it does feel like this person wants a new path and passion. A new path and a passionate path. It doesn't have to be the kind of passion that's of the flesh. It could be excitement. Let's create something together. Let's, uh, maybe you're excited that this person is back. Take it as it resonates. We do have the Hierophant. This person might be coming back for commitment if this is if this is someone who is romantically interested in you. If they are not romantically interested in you, I feel like this person has learned from their mistake. Their mistake of walking away. Because look, I'm just going to say I'm a Taurus sun and you know you're a Taurus sun or moon rising, wherever it comes up for you. But when you do a Taurus dirty, they're going to give you a chance after a chance after a chance. But when they come to the place where they're not giving no more chances, 
you're out. You're now on the outside looking in and it's going to take a whole damn wristband to get back in, right? So I feel like that's the place that you're at right now, Taurus. When this person shows up, whether they are a love or whether they are platonic, it feels like this person's asking for your wisdom. If this person is platonic friend, they're asking for your wisdom. Please, I really need your wisdom. I'm in a place of worry. And if this is someone who is in love with you, I feel like this person is coming in with the intent of getting some sort of a commitment with you because they can't stop thinking about you. They It interrupts their day. It interrupts their night. They can't sleep anymore. And um, this is definitely soulmate energy. This is someone that you have... Um, someone that you have history with. So whether it's friendship history or love history, there is history here. And so I feel like somebody's coming back after a long time. It's going to cause a tower, Taurus. The emperor is coming in. Somebody is taking charge of the situation. Um, and I don't think it's you because I think you're the empress, right? Taurus and Libra energy. But we do have somebody here who is taking charge of the situation. You don't see it coming, but this is going to bring things full circle. Like it's like somebody went away and now they're coming back and it brings everything full circle and now we're going to talk about the situation as it is. And it is probably going to lead to a clean slate, a new beginning. We are going to jump in both feet first, but I don't think that you see it coming. You might feel it, Taurus, but you don't see it. I feel like it's, it's again, the moon card is here. You don't see it but you feel it and it feels good. It feels happy. So whether this is a soulmate friend or a lover, I feel like you really do want to see them. I feel like this person is ready to come in and settle down and um, give you the things um, of the 3D that you were expecting of them initially. Somebody here who is feeling like they uh, their life is really busy, but they're, they need to get balance or find balance with you. Um, things are not as they seem, Taurus. If you feel like there is something brewing, then you are correct. I'm going to go for now, Taurus. Thank you so much for being here and watching. I appreciate you. I'm up for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.